friends, it's Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations. Welcome back everybody to my channel. It's great to see you today and I'm hoping you're having a wonderful day. Well today I'm going to film with you a haul I have of some stuff for a new wreath I'm going to make. Also some clothing that I recently got, <clears throat> excuse me, for early spring when it's still a little cool out. It's not like that today though. We're having hot weather and I know a lot of people are having warm weather um, in this weird February we're having. <laughs> I'm hoping this is not a, you know, a time when we're gonna be, we were so hot last summer here in Texas. I mean, it was miserable. I mean, miserable, it was so hot. So I'm hoping that's not gonna happen again. But today there is all kinds of stuff going on around me in my neighborhood. Um, over at my neighbor's, like kitty corner for me or what, um, they're a truck and just some machinery and showed up at their house right behind my house. They're putting in a new like electric pole. And so it's been loud and, and stuff around here. So hopefully we won't have that going again. Cause it was really noisy where they were making a hole for a new power pole and they used, you know, a, I don't know, is it, it's probably, I don't know, it's called an auger. Is that correct? Anyways, it had like a screw that goes down but they had to do that for a long time and they have to get that really far down into the ground so that they don't, you know, topple over in a storm, you know, or any kind of hurricane, which they're thinking me, we may be getting a busier than normal hurricane season this year. But anyways, I know you're not here for that, <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to let you know what's going on. There's still like all kinds of things going on around here and I'm busy, busy. Like I told you, working on this wedding, uh, working on the shower um, that we're going to be having in April. And yeah, there's just a lot going on. Uh, my daughter's um, bachelorette party is going to be in March and that's coming up soon. Um, and yeah, so much things happening, y'all. It's just like, wow, wow, wow. Anyways, let's get into the video. Um, if you're new, I'm so glad you stopped by my channel. I really appreciate it. For all of you there here, please give me a thumbs up and a like, you know, a like on my video. And um, if you're new, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join us. Anyways, today I'm gonna to show you some flowers I got off of Amazon. Um, did I bring off of my other ones? I got some flowers. Hang on a quick second, I'll grab those. Let's see if I can do my little thingy buffer here I have. Hold on just a second. Okay, we're back. All right, I went off and I grabbed the other flowers I was talking about. Um, and yeah, I'd gone to uh, the at-home store a while back looking for wedding, you know, wedding stuff. So that's why um, I have a couple things from the at-home store, but not a lot. Um, but first, let me show you. I bought some flowers that I'm going to make a wreath with, which I told you I was going to do. Or I told you in the beginning here. Um, first, I got these. These are, okay, all these flowers I'm fixing to show you are from Amazon. Look at how pretty these are. Now, they're showing up as pretty in camera as they are to me. <laughs> they're very pretty. The nice stems on them and everything. This one's a little bent over. Um, but these would look so pretty in like a white base, you know, for springtime. Have them out at Easter. But aren't they? Just look how beautiful those are. They are so pretty, don't you think? I think these are gorgeous. So these are from Amazon. And I need to get busy and try to link stuff in my Amazon account. Um, I haven't been doing it lately, but um, please go look if you're interested in this. I'll do this as soon as possible. Spend some time working on that. Because I and that I've been buying stuff for the wedding. So maybe I can make a little wedding page up or a bridal shower page up uh, for all the what stuff I've been buying for the bridal shower keep seeing, I'm sitting in my entryway, which I used to do this when I first started my videos. I don't know if you can hear all that noise out back, out front. They are cutting down some trees and shoving the trees through one of those, um, you know, things um, to cut, cut it down into, shred it into mulch. <laughs> um, but it's making a lot of noise. Um, so I hope it's not too bad in the video because I wanted to get this done today. Um, another one that I got from here is this. Is this purple that gorgeous? Now this is a little bit of a mix. It's got some pinks in it too, lighter pinks. So we've got some lighter pinks. You've even got some smaller, like these are definitely um, supposed to look like P 
peonies, the way they're just opening up. Uh, there's a little bit of this grassy stuff with little purple flowers on it. Um, there's actually a little bit of hydrangea in there too, here. So it's a nice little bunch. Um, it's a long stem. But look at all those pretty flowers. Is that not pretty? So what I'm gonna try to do, and then I'm gonna use these two. So it's all gonna be very springy. So we've got a little bit of this light pink um, and a light purple and this pink. And I think it'll make a really pretty wreath. And then I'm gonna use this sign. I also picked this up on Amazon. It says, welcome. So I'm gonna use, this sign is kind of big. Um, you can see how large it is going on. Um, and it does say home on the other side, but I'm gonna use the welcome and make a wreath out of it. And um, it's probably gonna be on a fairly good size wreath frame because of the welcome being as big as it is. I was looking for a smaller size one that said welcome, but I didn't come across anything. So this is gonna to have to be a bigger wreath. Um, I am gonna be using a lot of greenery to start the wreath and then add the flowers in. So be watching for that video. Hopefully I'll start filming that soon, but I wanna do my spring tour after this video. The next one coming out is gonna be my spring tour. And uh, then after that, I have to start decorating for Easter. I'm not gonna go all out this year because right after Easter, is, um, we're getting busy with all the showers and such. So I'm not gonna have time to, um, you know, have a big, explosive Easter um, decor, but I'll pull out some of mine and set some out and we'll go from there. Anyways, other flowers I got, and these I got at the at-home store. Let me pull these out for you and I can show them to you. These are, um, it looks like hydrangeas. And they have that like, kind of like that, a little bit that real feel technology to them. Um, isn't that pretty? I think I've got a purple thing going on. Sorry, my eye is bothering me. We've had allergies already. All the pollen from the trees is starting already, you know, early this year. But aren't those pretty? My little tips of white with the purple, you know, just so pretty. So I want to put these in a vase, um, you know, some vase around my house for probably during uh, Easter. And then I got some of these, and I think these are probably dogwood, if I'm not mistaken, that's probably what those are supposed to be. So I was thinking I could put these all in a vase together and make a little arrangement and it would look really nice. So that is my plan to work these into my decor. And I just love these colors together. They're very pretty. now. I didn't, I don't remember how much those um, flowers were at Amazon. These were $3.99. These ones were $3.99 a piece. And the purples were $4.99. And they are just a, a stem like this. You know, it's not a big stem, but they're very pretty. So anyways, I got those from the at-home store. And then um, also at the at-home store, I got this little bunny. Is that not cute? With pink. So, you know, I'm kind of giving a little bit of color in my life with these pink tulips. And they do say on here, if you see that little sign on there, it says real feel. They have that like real feel technology. So, um, where they're doing the silk flowers, you know, they're not, these are more made out of some kind of, it's like a rubber or something, um, plastic. I don't know, but look how cute those are. And the cute little bunny, like a little planter. And it's got tulips that was $9.99. So that wasn't a bad price. And that'll be cute setting out, don't you think? Well, I love it. Anyways, I like it a lot. I gotta find places to set everything. And then um, I also, now these are from someplace else. Let me put those back over there. Those aren't from there. Okay, and the last thing I got from home, the at home store. And now 
I always look at their wreaths. If I see one that I think I'm going to love, I'll pick it up, you know, rather than making one myself. So I saw this one and fell in love with it. And again, it's pink. It's this one. Isn't that pretty? It was $34.99. So about $35. But, you know, with all these florals on here, you'd never make it yourself. Isn't that a pretty wreath? I fell in love with it, y'all. I just think it's super pretty. With all the pink and... Oh, I mean, I just love this. It's really, really cute. Okay, anyways, I hope y'all love it as much as I do because I think it's just adorable. <laughs> just adorable. I'm just gonna stick this back in the bag so it doesn't get messed up till I get it outside somewhere. Okay, let's now work on, I've got some stuff from the Target Dollar Spot. Let's look at that first. And then we'll look at the clothing I got. Um, and I was looking for some clothes and stuff, nicer tops and stuff maybe to wear. Because I've got um, two showers to go to and then a rehearsal dinner. And probably at the rehearsal dinner I'll wear a dress. But the other showers are more casual. Maybe at the one I have here at the house I'll be wearing some kind of dress. Um, the other one's at an, uh, at, at an outdoor event, and it'd probably be better to wear capris or shorts or something like that, but look nice. So I wanted to get some things. But, oh, along with flowers, I got these at the Target dollar spot. Look at these roses. And they had, um, so like a little bud vase with, you know, just one little rose sticking out or tulip sitting out of it. Wouldn't that be cute? They had uh, pink ones in this too, I think. These were the dollar, uh, tulip, it's called the tulip pick. It was a dollar. And these were a dollar each. And I just thought these might look cute in a little bud vase or something for spring and Easter. So I got those at the dollar spot. And also in the dollar spot, <laughs> I got this little pot. And this is like, you know, it's like, like a clay pot that's gray. I mean, it's thick here, you know, so it's like a clay pot, but look, it's got carrots grown and it says 25% cents rat bunny, bunny food. So what it says bunny food, yeah. Isn't that cute? I thought they'd be cute setting out with my, um, in an area with bunnies or something. I just thought it was super adorable. It was $5. It says right there on the bottom, $5. And um, I just thought it was super cute. So I liked it. <laughs> and then they had a little wreath there. So I picked it up. Not that I, well, I probably do need it. It's very cute for $5. Um, it's just got eggs on it. More neutral than not. Um, it has some, like, it's like raffia. I guess, and then it has a, a flower up at the top, or a few flowers going around, little daisies. But I thought it was cute. Um, you know, I've got hook systems. I've got one like right here on the wall. You can't see it right now. Um, here in my entryway, I've got my range hood that I have a nail on there that I hang wreaths on. Um, I have other places that I hang wreaths throughout the house. So. When I saw this, I was like, I'm just going to pick it up. It was $5 and it's kind of cute. So that's why I got that. I don't know how much they'll have left now because I think things are selling fast. So there's that. And then the last thing I got from Target was this rooster, like egg basket, which is, this is going to be cute for, put some Easter eggs in there for, Easter. Isn't that cute? This will be super cute sitting in a kitchen or on a hutch with the eggs in it. Isn't that cute? Uh, can you see it very well? It's kind of hard to see, isn't it? But look, at it's a good size. It's all made of metal. You know, kind of gives you the, you know, like chicken wire effect. Got a tail on it. And it's got the rooster's little thing here. You can see here. So very cute for only $5. I think it was 5 Wire basket, $5. Super cute. 
My sister has one that she bought that's in her kitchen that is like, it's wire too, but it's, it's got a, um, like feet on it. She got it from Hive Lab and it wasn't $5, I can tell you that. But this is cute. So I think that's gonna look so adorable with eggs in it. So I was glad to find that and it was inexpensive. So yeah, gonna enjoy that very much. Okay, let's look at my clothes. Now I got a couple things. Well, actually, let me show you this. This is something, I ordered this off of Amazon. Do you like Mud Pie, the brand Mud Pie? It's kind of expensive sometimes. Well, anyways, I got this plate. Is that not cute? It says Hello Spring, and it's like um, stone, stoneware maybe. It's got a little bunny on there with a couple flowers. I just thought it was adorable, and it's small. It came with. A towel that has carrots on it and a little like wooden serving spoon you know that you would maybe use for cheese well it wouldn't cut through cheese soft cheese maybe um, you could use that for the towel is cotton and it's just a towel with carrots on it and also at Target, I did pick up a couple of spring towels because I was looking for spring towels at um, Hobby Lobby, but I couldn't find any. And I mean, I thought I'd like, so I happened to find a couple at, um, at Target that weren't like Easter necessarily because I wanted something springy, but not actually with bunnies or eggs or anything like that all over it. Anyways. I love this. I think it's very cute. I, I'm probably going to have this in my kitchen someplace. Okay, now on to the clothing. Okay, one of the things I recently picked up when I was at Kohl's, and I ordered some, ordered some stuff from Kohl's too, was this spring top, which I like the colors in it. It's this spring top. Um, the sleeves, the, the get, you know, they're stretchy here now. I have really small arms, so I know some people have trouble when they have stretch, you know, they have the elastic here, but it's very stretchy. I don't think it'd be tight necessarily. They had these things, which I always cut off because I can't stand them. Um, but look at the print. Isn't that a pretty print? It's got um, navy blue in it, some yellow, a little tiny bit of pink. And of course that kind of, uh, it's not even green, it's kind of a brownish tone. But I think it'll look nice and wear some gold jewelry with it. And I think it'll be pretty. You know, it'll look good. It's, you know, an upgrade from a t-shirt. <laughs> so I think it'll look nice. So there's one thing I got. And I have some like green pants that this would really look good with. But I mean, they're like loaden green, if you know what that, and they this looked really nice next to them. So I might can wear those with this top. And then another one I picked up one day when I was in there is this one. And it's a three quarter sleeve. And I got this for early spring just because my arms get really cold easily. Um, this one's got this print on it. I'll get a little closer so you can really see what it is. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's got a floral on it. A little purple, a little pink, and again, that brown tone in there. You know, the, this part is like brownish, got a little bit of pink there. Um, yeah, but it's, you know, it's, it's um, got a little tie that goes here. I've got it tied, but this I think will look good too for spring, and of course, it'll. You know, right now it's too warm to wear this, but it should cool down again. And this will be nice for seven degree weather, you know, <laughs> right now we're in 80 degree, but this will be nice at like 68 degrees or 70, 72. It wouldn't be too hot and it will be comfortable and not, um, cause it's, you know, nice fabric. It's not, not a, um, what's the thing I'm thinking of? This is probably maybe cotton. 
Uh, I don't know if it says on there, but oh, and how much was this? Let me look. Where's the tag? I did tell you that on the first thing. Okay, this was twenty four ninety nine, but the day I was in there, it had, um, I think thirty percent percent off if you had used your coal card, Kohl's card. So I probably got thirty percent off of this. And this other top two, this one was $27.99, but I got probably 30% off of it. Okay, and then the other day when I went in there, I went looking for capris because I need some capris. So the first capris are the ones I'm wearing. Ugh, if I can get up. These are capris. Um, they're just plain at the bottom. They don't have any cuff or anything like that. They're called, um, what brand are these? They're Levi's 511, I think, Shaping. I think they're called Shaping. It says that, yes, yeah, skinny jean or skinny, because I have such skinny legs that um, this works well for me. But anyways, they're very, I like them. They're stretched, kind of, you know, they got some movement and you don't feel like you're, you know, that they're too tight on you, but I like them because my legs are skinny and they're a skinniest kind of, you know, capri. Other ones are so wide at the leg that they look stupid on me. <laughs> Anyways, I got also them in white. They didn't have any other like colors. They had jeans and, you know, jean color, like dark and light. And they might've had some that had holes in them. I don't know. Um, and they had white, but they didn't have like, other colors um, I've seen at Kohl's where they have, I think it's, what's it, what's the brand that? Is it Gloria Vanderbilt? Does she have stuff there? I think so. Anyways, um, but they're very wide at the bottom. See how these are not wide at the bottom? But yes, they're um, called shaping jeans or shaping capris. These were actually in the junior section. And I don't see where it says how much these were. They were also on sale. It says here fifty nine fifty, um, but I think these were on sale for like thirty something dollars. So I'm excited to wear these. If I can keep them clean, that is. <laughs> I'm war. I'm horrible with um, color. And then I got this shirt, which is very soft. It's a tank top. I like the print in this. And there's kind of a theme here. This has pink in it too. Pink and green. And it's very soft. It'll look good in the summer. Nice and comfy when we're off camping and such. You know, so it, it'll be a comfortable thing to wear. It's very soft. Uh, this was, and I hope you can see that print. Isn't that pretty? Um, this was $19.99. And of course I had that 30% off that day. So everything I got 30% off and I got some, I think, no, I didn't get any Kohl's cash that day. I probably have some now though, since I shopped online. So here's my little online order. I haven't even opened it up. I think after I got home from the store that day, I ordered a couple things. Um, I got two shirts and a pair. Let me show you these first. I got a pair of their green and their capris also but they're like the paper bag, what they call paper bag. And they're this green color, ultra comfort waist. And these are petite, so maybe they're not gonna be as long on me, which is nice. Um, I got these in a medium petite. I'm hoping this isn't too big now, once I have I'm holding it here. Cause they are you know, small, medium and large, and this is medium. I guess they style them uh, with this cuff this cuffed, which I guess you can wear it cuffed like that and make it a little shorter. On one side, they didn't have it cuffed. As you can see, it's, it's um, cuffed on this one, but not on this one. But I like the color green. Um, and, you know, let's hope they fit me, though. I'm a little leery about the fact, well, maybe they will fit. 
um, because of their medium, I normally wear like a small, but in that a pretty color. And it has like a little drawstring tie here. So for casual day, you know, when you're out just running errands or whatever, I thought that would be really cute. And then I got this top, which this is cute. I did not see this in the store. It's kind of similar to the other one here. Similar, but the fabric's different. And it also has a keyhole back here. And so this is the print. It's got yellow flowers on it. It's blue with yellow flowers and a little bit of, um, well, it's not even yellow. It's kind of a more of a mustard color yellow. And then it's got white, you know, in there and a little bit, a touch of like, that's a greeny gray in the, some of the flowers. But it's super, I think it'll be cute on with the right jewelry and everything and the right purse and all that kind of stuff. It'll be looking quite nice. Um, we'll see how it fits on me. I did get this in a what size. This is a, this is Lauren Conrad. This was $29.99 and I did get this in a, well, it's a medium. I might could wear a small on this, I'm not sure. We'll have to see how it fits, but there's one. And then the last thing I got, and I saw this in the store and I, after I left and came home, I was like, I really want to order this because it's a really pretty top. Isn't that pretty with the pink flowers on it or these flowers? I just think that's very pretty. And it's, um, you know, it buttons up the front, buttons up the, the complete, the front. You could dress this up or dress it down, um, I think, just because it's so pretty. Like this will look really nice with a pair of white jeans. Or you could put it with denim, you know, obviously. It's very pretty. I love the colors in this. And this I got in a medium also, so hopefully it fits. <laughs> but isn't that pretty? Don't you love that? I love that color. These florals are so pretty. Yes, Lauren Conrad. So that was nice. So pretty. Anyways, that's the end of my little haul. I hope you enjoyed being with me today. Um, like I said, I'll be home. I'll be back with next is going to be my home, my spring home tour. And I've just added some springy touches to my house. Um, you know, you know, it's not going to be overwhelmingly like, I don't know how to describe it. Spring touches of things, but not, you know, it's not going to be Eastery. It's going to be spring you know, like springy touches. So I'll be bringing you that video next. And then after that, we'll be having an Easter video. Then I'm going to show you kind of what I'm doing with the uh, shower. And I'll share as much as I can with the, as the wedding comes near, wedding stuff and all that kind of thing. But anyways, okay, I'm lost my, um, I have a little like clicker thingy bopper that helps me with my phone. <laughs> I always lose it. <laughs> Anyways, I hope uh, y'all have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.